Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I am going to prepare a video on how to create the OTBI report without going to the browse catalog window. Okay, so we had created already lot of OTBI reports, but all that reports are based on the catalog. So first we will go to the catalog, then we will click on the new their analysis. This type of an flow is over there. Okay, but here I am going to tell you that how to create the OTBI report without going to the catalog okay so that process i am going to explain you over here okay so for that i have to go to my oracle fusion instance first so i am on the home page of my oracle fusion instance before starting i just want to tell you that if you are new on my channel please like share subscribe my channel if you want to learn the oracle fusion from starting please go through my fusion playlist for more details okay back to the topic so we have to achieve the utility of creating the OTBI report without going to the browse catalog window. So for that what we have to do. So here is a navigator. We have to click on the navigator. Now we don't have to go to the browse catalog window. But what we have to do. We have to create the report. For that we have to go to tools. And then under tools we are having reports and analytics. So we have to click on this reports and analytics. So now from here we can go to the catalog but I don't want to go to the catalog and I have to create the report. So how I can achieve that. So here is an one option that is an a create. So if I am clicking on over here so we will get two options. So create a report and create an analysis. So analysis that is the same which we are creating from the browse catalog window so i am just clicking on the analysis so as soon as i clicked on the analysis it will show me the list of the analysis which all present into the oracle okay so you can see lot of the analysis are over here so you can see any one of that so here today i am just creating the supplier report okay so we will go down over here and I am searching for the supplier. So here is my supplier, supplier real time. Okay, so I am checking this checkbox and I am just clicking on the continue button. So as soon as I clicked on continue button, it will generate one prompt over here only. It, it won't redirect me on that respective OTBI page generation, which we had seen in our previous videos. Okay, so previously what we are doing we are just going to this catalog page then here is an, a new then we are clicking on the analysis then after from this respect to analysis we will choose any one of the analysis suppose I am just selecting this one randomly and it will be on some other page and it will having some different UI okay so from this we can drag and drop the columns or we can double click but here what we are having here directly we are having this subject or area over here and we are having other detail at the same page okay so what i am doing here i am just taking some supplier details so i am going to the supplier tab and i am going to the supplier profile tab then i am just selecting some columns of the supplier detail so i am just taking this supplier number and i am taking supplier name and i am taking the supplier type so if other columns also you have to take you can take that then we will create the graph also on the same page so i am just clicking on the supplier count so we will just take the number of suppliers okay so with this four columns we are taking so here if you want to add more columns you can add that also if you add some another subject area just click on this button and you can select some other subject area also but i have to work with only single subject area for this example so i'm just selecting that subject area and this much of the column then after i'm just clicking on the next button once i clicked on the next button it will goes to second step that is nothing but the select view so which title we have to give to the our report that we can give here so suppose i'm just giving supplier otbi report then here what type of an table we you need what type of an graph you need so default there is an none but i want to create the table and the table type is recommended whatever recommended table type is over there so then i want to generate the graph also so i am clicking here and here i am selecting the pie so these two structures are generated so this is my table structure and this is my graph structure okay 
so here is a layout format also so which layout you need so table to left of graph suppose we need this one because i want to check both at the same time then after we can check that the it is showing some data or not so here is an one preview if i check this preview checkbox so it will give me some preview so you can see that it is giving me this preview where i am having this four columns and the respective graphs so it is generated the table as well as the graph is generated automatically so you can see that this pie chart is generated based on the assumptions of that respective report okay so no need to worry at this stage okay so at later stage we can edit that so this is my second so it is done now the third one is an edit table so i am just clicking on the next button so it will redirect me to this edit table so here is a table so here number of an supplier so supplier number is the unique so always this supplier number is one only so we don't have to show this over here so supplier number what i have to do i just have to click it and i have to move it to the exclude section okay so i am just clicking on exclude so you can see that as soon as i clicked on the exclude it had refreshed the graph and the table also okay so now it is only three columns so we are having some prompt and select by also which i already explain you how to use this prompt and select by in my previous videos so that if you want to use you can use that also so you can see over here prompt select by and exclude so we had excluded this column so it had come over here okay then i am just clicking on the next edit table is done now we have to edit the graph you can see it is the edit graph so what values we are having on the graph so we are having this supplier number but i don't want the supplier number over here i want the supplier type over here okay so i am just going down so why it is not showing because the supplier type is in the exclude but i want that into the slices so i am clicking on move to and here is an slices so i just clicked on that and you can see that it went over here now again my graph and my table is also changed now i don't want the supplier number here so i want to exclude it so i'm just excluding it so it is excluded so now you can see that what so what are my details so it is nothing but the contract authority and this is the null okay so null details are also shown over here but we have to apply the filter on the null we don't want to show that null values as a supplier type okay so what i am going to do so here we can't do anything for that we have to go for the next step in next step we are having that so i am just clicking on the next and you can see over here here we are having the sort and the filter so filter where we want to apply so i am just adding one filter so on which column we want to apply supplier type so i am just clicking on supplier type so you can see that supplier type column name is already over there and then what type of filter we want to apply so i want to apply is not null so as soon as i click on is not null it will again refresh and you can see now only this three supplier types are there that is in contract supplier and tax authority and according to that the pie chart is generated now second thing i want to apply one more filter on the supplier name okay i want to assign it ascending order so here is an ascending and it is done the page is also refreshed so you can see it is an ascending if i click on descending it will show me into the descending order okay so i am just making it ascending again so it is now ascending so this is also done then you can add different types of uh, filters and different types of sort over here also so now i am just clicking on the next so next is nothing but the highlight so which value you want to highlight so suppose there is an some amount values there and which is more than 1 lakh or more than 10 lakh so that type of an value you can highlight so here i am not applying anything and i am just clicking on the next so as soon as i clicked on next you can see that it will ask me to save that analysis so here you can see see that it is save also and here is an analysis name which analysis name i want to give so i am just writing here supplier detail without catalog
okay so i'm just copying the same name into the description section also and i want to save it to shared folders then there is a custom and my respective custom folder so i had selected the folder and i am just going up and here i have to just click on the submit so as soon as i clicked on submit you can see the message that is analysis saved successfully so i am just clicking on ok button so now again we are on the same report creation page you can see over here so now how to check this report is generated or not for that what we have to do we have to go to the location where we had saved that report so i am on my catalog page now i am going to the shared folder then there is a custom folder and then i am going to the custom folder where i had saved that report so you can see that we had generated this report that is supplier underscore detail without catalog okay so if you want to run this report you can click on open if you want to edit this you can click on edit so you can see that my report is generated so this is the thing how we can generate the report without going to the browse catalog window okay so one more thing i want to tell you in this video so for that i am going back to my report and analysis page so here initially there is an, a no data but i want to make the shortcut so which report we had created that report i want to show on this page only for my shortcut purpose okay so for that what we have to do we have to first click on this clear filter so if there are any type of filter that will get cleared okay so as soon as we clicked on this clear filter it will show me two folder that is my folder and shared folder so by using this path i have to go to the location where i had saved my report so it is saved in some custom folder and then after respective custom folder so i have to go till that location so i am on that respective location and which report we had created this report we had created that is a supplier detail without catalog so here is an one star icon means it is nothing but the favorite so i have to add this as a favorite okay so i had done this now what i am going i am just going back to the home page again so this is my oracle fusion home page and then i am going to tools and then just clicking on the report and analysis so it will redirect me on the report and analysis page so now you can see that my report is over there okay so how much time i will come on this page this report will remain over here only and if i want to remove this i just want to remove from favorite so i have to click this star again so if i want to run this report i just have to click here and this report will get run and it will show me the output whatever it is having so it is having tabular as well as graphical so it is showing me in the same format okay then if i click on done it will again redirect me on the same window so this is the way i had explained you how to create the otbi report without going to the browse catalog window if you are having any type of doubt you can write into the comment section please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you